Hello, my Rents Baptist kids. Today we have a very exciting lesson. You are all going to be secret agents on a special mission. Who's good at following directions? Sometimes it can be hard to follow what we are told to do, can't it? Sometimes we might not quite understand what we're supposed to do, which makes us not want to follow them, right? Yeah, it's hard. We have started a new series this week called Go. What do you think it means? We are supposed to go out into the world and tell others about Jesus. Do you know who gave us this mission? Do what I do. God gave us a mission. That's today's big idea. Let's try those motions again to help us remember it. God gave us a mission. Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl, and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. With your host, Carl, and your co-host, Cassie, where we learn, we have fun, talk about Jesus and all that the Bible has to offer. So once again, welcome to Grow TV. Here at Grow TV, anything can happen. Things can get loud. <laughs> Things can get very quiet. Things can get silly. And things can get very serious. Hello, Basil, yes. Send the check immediately. <laughs> I'm serious. What I'm saying is anything can happen here at Grow TV. And someone can walk through that door right now. Hey, Carl. Ah! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Good, because you didn't scare me. I don't get scared. <laughs> I'm tough. OK, well, I just wanted to give you this. What is this? I don't know. Who's it from? I don't know. Where'd you get it? I don't know. How did I it? I don't know. You didn't even let me finish. You're right. Sorry, go ahead. OK. How'd you get it? I don't know. <laughs> OK, well, thanks. So what does it say? It says go? Go? Hmm, looks like there's something on the bottom too. Well, you're right. It says Matthew 28, 16 through 20. Interesting, I think that's a- Code. No, I don't think- Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's a code for some top secret mission. But what does it mean? Matthew 28, 16 through 20. Matthew, Matthew, hmm, who's Matthew? Who's Matthew? How old is Matthew? Matthew 28. And he could have eaten 16 to 20 something peanut butter sandwiches. That's it! Matthew was 28 and he ate 16 to 20 sandwiches that had peanut butter inside them. Case closed. <laughs> I'm the winner. I don't think that's right. Oh, yeah? What do you think it is then? I mean, I thought it was obvious. It's a Bible verse, right? Bible verse? <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess that does make sense. Yeah, Matthew 28, 16 through 20. Jesus gives the Great Commission. Commission, huh? It says, Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Whoa, 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 hold up. What did it just say? Nations? No, before that. Of all? Before that. Make disciples? Before that. And? No, before that. Go? Yes, go! That's what was on the paper! Oh, that's right. I'll keep reading for more clues. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you, always to the very end of the age. Wow, that is so cool! So what do you think this means? Well, I mean, I have so many ideas. Like, 500 million ideas. But what do you think? Maybe this verse is some type of an adventure. Some type of a test. Something like a... Mission! It's a mission! We're going on a mission! Why do you say that? Well, what's the title of the verses? The Great Commission? That's it! The Great Commission. The Great Go Mission. God wants us to go on a mission. Wow, that's exciting. God gave us a mission. Awesome. But what is it? What are we supposed to do? Well, in the verse it tells us to make disciples, teach them, and baptize them. 
That's a big mission. Yes, it is, but I think we can do it. I think so too. Wait, that's our big idea. Our big idea today is God gave us a mission. Now kids, I'm gonna count down from five, and when we hit zero, I want everyone to yell out the big idea. Five, four, three, two, one. God gave us a mission! Woo! <laughs> Good job. Now I think it's time to start training and to get ready for our mission. Well kids, thanks for tuning in to Grow TV. I'm your host, Carl. And I'm Cassie. And we'll see you soon. The mission God gave us isn't just any mission. It even has its own name. It's called the Great Commission. That's a pretty big word. Does anyone know what it means? It simply means Jesus has given us something to do. We find the Great Commission in Matthew 28. The mission was first given to Jesus' disciples, but it was meant for every follower of Jesus forever. So it's a mission for you and me too. Matthew 28, 16 through 20. The 11 disciples traveled to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but some doubted. When Jesus came near and said to them, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Our mission is to tell others about Jesus. Many churches do mission work in different countries around the world. The purpose of those missions is to share about Jesus to people who haven't heard about Jesus yet. But church missions are just one of the ways we can show Jesus' love to our community and the world. We can carry out God's mission right at home. Sometimes, telling people about Jesus might look like caring for them and showing them kindness. Or it might look like noticing a need around us and being a big helper to people who need it. Can you think of some missions for Jesus you can do? Right now, I want you to act like spies. Here's your mission. Read Matthew 28, 16 through 20 once again. Then see if you can spy three action words in the Great Commission. There are three things Jesus tells us to do. things Jesus said to do? That's right. The words are go, baptizing, and teaching. Jesus said to go make disciples or followers of Jesus, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey what God says. What do you think happens when we don't carry out God's mission? Let's read this Bible passage and find out. Romans 10, 14 and 15. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. This verse is saying that if we ignore God's mission, it affects a whole chain of events. If we don't go, people won't hear about Jesus. Because they haven't heard, they won't believe. And because they don't believe, they don't know that Jesus is the answer. Those are a lot of things that get affected by our one decision. Before we can go, someone needs to send us. And who sends us on a mission again? God. When we choose to follow Jesus, we are sent by God to go out and tell the world all about who Jesus is and what Jesus can do in our schools, our families, and our neighborhoods, and around the world, wherever we go. In Romans 10, 15, it says about beautiful feet. I don't know about you, but when I think of the word feet, beautiful doesn't come to mind. But this Bible verse says, delivering the good news about Jesus is so precious that even the person delivering the news and their feet are beautiful. That's how much people need to know about Jesus. That's how important our mission is. Think about someone you want to tell about Jesus this week. Is it a friend at school? Maybe a family member? 
If you can't think of anybody right now, that's okay too. Pray to God to show you the people who need the good news delivered to them using your beautiful feet. Earlier I mentioned about beautiful feet and how it can be difficult to imagine your feet as being beautiful. We do have some craft ideas though of uh, how to get a visual of beautiful feet and here's one that I did. Now I have very big feet so when I had to trace mine it took two pieces of paper but for you it should only take one. All you really need to do is just take your shoes off, shoes and socks off, put both feet on a piece of paper. Now, if you want to do a butterfly, you'll have to crisscross, left on the right side, right on the left side, and trace your feet, and then draw the body of the butterfly in the middle, and let your colors be creative. I think it's time for a dance party. Let's shake it out while we listen to this song, which reminds us about how important it is to spread the word about Jesus. Don't let anyone look down on you Because you are young But set an example for the believers Don't let anyone look down on you Because you are young But set an example for the believers Let's speech in life In love Let's take a few minutes and close our eyes and tell God how thankful we are for his mission and to ask for help in thinking of ideas for how we can complete it. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you so much for your word and your mission to go and to share your Son with others. I do pray that you'll lead, guide, and direct us to those that do need to hear about your word. We do love you and praise you and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. God gave us a mission. I look forward to sharing next week's with you.